In this video, I'll talk a little bit about how to navigate Power BI Desktop and go over the basic components of the program. If you're looking to find the basics of how to make reports, click here. So our home bar, located at the top of the window, has the most commonly used functions of the program. In the first box here, we have clipboard control buttons. Then over here, we have a button called Get Data, which lets us connect to our data in all of its various forms. Recent sources will let us connect to the data that we've already connected to before. Edit Queries allows us to edit and transform our imported data using the desktop built-in query editor. I'll cover this in a separate video. To watch that video, click here. This box lets you insert a text box and an external image. This new page button adds a new page to your report. These two buttons let you add new measures and new columns to your report, and custom formulas to go with them. And this button, Publish, will let you access your report from the Power BI website application. Over here on the right hand side of the window, we can see our report component types under this visualizations header. Here we can pick and change the components of our report. Underneath this, we have a filter section where we can slice our data by different parameters. And on the very right, we have the fields from our data queries. These checkboxes represent the columns in our data. On the left hand side here, you see three buttons, the top of which is currently selected. These represent windows for the report, data, and relationship components of the program. Let's switch to the data window. Here you can see our data represented in a spreadsheet format. The buttons at the top here let us model our data. Here we have a button that lets us manage our relationships. Over here we have the same two buttons from the report window, which let us make measures and columns. Here we have a sort button, which lets us sort the sheet by a selected column. This and the next button light up when a column is selected. The formatting section lets us add certain kinds of formatting to a column of data. We can change the type, the format, and even add things like dollar signs and percent symbols. Remember, this doesn't change the data itself, just the way we look at it. The properties section lets us change the category of our data. Over on the right, we can see our data aggregated from all of the various connected sources. By clicking on the drop-down menu in each field, we can see the individual column names. That's about it for this video. For more, check out our channel or go to our website, jetreports.com. Thanks for watching.